Hey, Alan and you here with Mac Intelligent, and today you're going to learn how to create free ringtones using software that's already on your Mac. So let's say you already have a song in iTunes, or we'll want to launch iTunes. Now that I have iTunes open, the song that I'd like to convert is called 818 by Academic A from his album I Need No Introduction. So I'm just going to give a quick little listen here. Yep, that's what I'd like to convert. So the next step is to, I want to take 818 into a program called GarageBand. So we'll go up to the spotlight here and type in GarageBand. Now that GarageBand is loaded, I want to select New Project and then select Loops. And you can name this My Song is fine. And we'll save this to the desktop. Okay, GarageBand is open here. So the first thing I want to do is add a track. And we'll say Real Instrument. Create. And here's my Real Instrument track. So all I want to do is drag 818 right into this Real Instrument track here. And as you can see, it loaded perfectly fine. So the next step is to go to share and I want to say send ringtones to iTunes. And when I do that, I get this message that says your iPhone ringtone length needs to be adjusted. And it goes on to say it has to be 40 seconds or less. So I'll say adjust and I'll get this yellow bar right in the top of the timeline here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to come down here to this measures area and then change that into time. Great. So now I'll be able to come back up here and adjust this yellow bar and that will give me a better indication of how much time I have. And we'll drag it out to about 40 seconds here and that looks fine I think. And we'll go to share, send ringtone to iTunes. Oops. Okay, so here it is again, which means I just need to adjust my bar down a tiny bit more. So I'll just say, uh, that should be fine right about there. Send ringtone to iTunes, and there it goes. Great, our ringtone has been created. So we can locate our ringtone by going to Tones. And now that we're in Tones, we see my song. It's about 38 seconds. We'll give it a quick listen. Excellent. So... Our ringtone has been created, however, the name of my ringtone is My Song, and the artist's name is Blank, and the album shows I Need No Introduction. So let's take a look at why that happened. If we go into GarageBand and we go into the Preferences panel, we go into My Info, and as you can see here, the iTunes playlist says ringtones, the artist's name is Blank, the composer name is Blank, and the album is I need no introduction. So what needs to happen here is you have to fill in this information if you want the name to take place into your iTunes. Another way to adjust the name is I can manually do it in iTunes by just clicking once on my song and typing in 818. And I'll even uh, come into the artist panel, click once and type in Academic A. So just wanted to mention that and give you a heads up. So that does it for this tutorial, and I hope you learned how to make free ringtones using GarageBand and transferring them into iTunes. Uh, please subscribe, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'm going to take you out with Academic A's song entitled 818. 818 is peaceful and calm. I got mad love for LA, but the 818's the bomb. The 818, we got real MCs, we got cheese, we got college degrees, we got fly bitches and parents with riches. But we don't have to worry about digging ditches. 818, we go to school and we graduate, and we got the kind of lives that you can't wait. Can't wait.